question 34 says the correct statement with respect to y is four options are given it gives positive tolerance test and is a functional isomer of x it gives positive tolerance test and is a geometrical isomer of x it gives positive iodoform test and is a functional isomer of x and the last option is it gives positive iodoform test and is a geometrical isomer of x now this pertains to scheme 2 the alkyne n when treated with sodamide sodamide removes the acidic hydrogen the hydrogen attached to sp hybridized carbon as well as the hydrogen attached to the adjacent carbon atom to the sp hybridized carbon when the dianion reacts with this reactant the sp3 hybridized carbon ion being more nucleophilic than sp hybridized carbon ion this carbon ion attacks at this carbon atom removing br minus nucleophilic substitution takes place hydronium ion under mild conditions provides hydrogen ion so this sp hybridized carbon again picks up the proton hydrogen in presence of palladized charcoal reduces alkyne to alkane the chromium trioxide oxidizes secondary alcohol to ketone finally giving rise to the product this product y gives positive iodoform test because of the methyl group attached to carbonyl group and it is a functional isomer of x so the correct answer is option c we now move on to the next paragraph for the questions 35 36 the next paragraph for questions 35 and 36 says there is a metal ion m1 which reacts with excess of q reagent q to give a tetrahedral complex and with excess of reagent r it gives square planar complex there is another metal ion m2 with excess of q it gives tetrahedral complex as well as with excess of r gives tetrahedral complex the metal ion m2 reacts with reagent s in stoichiometric amount to give white precipitate which dissolves in excess of the reagent s so this is the scheme of the paragraph based on this question 35 says m1 q and r respectively r four options are given the metal ion m1 is nickel ion because the nickel ion reacts with excess of HCl to give tetrachloronicolate ion tetrachloronicolate complex is tetrahedral nickel ion with KCN forms tetracyanonicolate ion which is square planar so the given reactions justify that metal m1 is nickel ion metal m2 because it gives tetrahedral complex whether it reacts with hcl or kcn it must be zinc ion so metal ion m2 must be zinc ion the next question pertains to the reagent s so we see the next question next question 36 says the reagent s is four options are given k4 fecn6 disodium hydrogen phosphate potassium chromate and potassium hydroxide 
Since we have seen zinc ion forms tetrahedral complex with HCl as well as KCN, zinc ion with KOH will form white precipitate of zinc hydroxide which dissolves in excess of KOH. So, the reagent S must be KOH. Zinc hydroxide dissolves in excess of OH minus. So, the correct answer for question 36 is option D. We now move on to the next question, question number 37. 